Hey guys, I hope you all have had some wonderful holidays as we have, have enjoyed our little family. But um, what I'm out here for guys, to just give you a brief update on what's going on in the garden. We've had some wonderful collards and cabbage and stuff from this garden. It's been absolutely delicious. And I got some more work that I'm going to do preserving the cabbage, I mean the collards. And some of the turnips, the turnips just has popped back up just, just wonderfully. And uh, I have shared some with family and friends, but this is what's going on now. The day is December the 28th, uh, 2023, and uh, it's about 9.30 in the morning, and the sun is out beautiful. I came out to check on the garden because I haven't been out in a while. I don't come out too much in the winter time. And I seen it was looking so beautiful. I said, I got to share this with the guys. So guys, these are the cabbage and uh, the turnips oh, right here in that first grow bed that I shared with you guys. Okay, Tuck, gonna go and show you the other. This is the, um, this is the um, one that we have really been getting cabbage and collards out of. We've been wearing this one out because they were so good. And guys, Tuck gonna go over there and show you a bed of turnips that has a root to to them. I haven't really shared them with you guys because I was late kind of planting planting them, and I just want to see what they would do. And I did plant some garlic. Okay, I planted some garlic garlic that Miss Charlotte gave me. Never planted garlic before. I used to think gar garlic grew wild, you know. Uh, anyway, I ain't, I'm not sure this garlic or either is this some of the uh, hay that we put on it. Like I said, I never did garlic and stuff before, so all of this will be experimental. But those cabbage, they're called white eggs. And I will be harvesting some from there this week. And, uh, okay, pop around and show them other collets over there on the other side. So. This is the collets over in the grow bag. And I had those, the first one I started out with. Okay, uh, we're going to go over here and show you what's going on in the earth bed. And then that's going to be it, guys. I'll show you the greenhouse next time. Cut out. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, guys, the broccoli is doing wonderful, wonderful. I shared some with Brittany. She was really glad to get them, so we shared a few heads with her, and I'll be getting some to do a stir-fry probably next week. And guys, over here, and he's showing you the rest of the broccoli, but uh, over here, this is the earth bed with the collops in it. Uh, they are doing, they are doing absolutely wonderful and stuff like that and I'm gonna be taking these off taking these off putting them in the freezer I took some out of the freezer I took some turnips out and I took some collars out over the holidays and they was wonderful so guys I just wanted to give y'all a little quick update and uh because it was going on so uh, real good it has um, survived probably uh three temperatures we we had three bouts with the temperatures in the um, 20s, right? Uh, it wasn't yeah, very low. A couple low. of them, yeah, two or three. It haven't went down into the teens yet, but we did cover them. They did real good, and so they're still out here, and we're going to be harvesting them and getting them ready for the freezer. But I just wanted to get to show you guys what the garden, the winter garden, was doing. Well, this is the fall garden. What it was doing over in uh, December. Like I said, this is December the 28th, because I'm not a real outdoor, I mean, in the winter time, I don't be outside much fooling in the garden. They sort of have really taken care of itself. I think I have only fertilized them one time, but like I say, they are doing well. And uh, if I give you guys another update on it, you know, it just be random. So, okay, guys.
this is the garden and I'm just going to end it like that.